What's going on, everybody? All right, I have several pistols laying here in front of me, as you've probably seen from the thumbnail. And I was going to try to narrow this down to five, but I, I wound up with seven. Seven awesome pistols from various price ranges that you can buy straight out of the box that have amazing triggers, in my opinion. Now, there are a few that I know of that I currently don't have. I may buy. They're a little expensive. Probably outside of budgets of a lot of people would even consider paying for a pistol. But there is a CZ, or a couple of CZs. One of them's called the Parrot. And one of them's called like a sport tactical or something like that. And they have some of the best triggers I've ever felt in my life. Um, now these aren't 1911s. It's hard to beat a 1911 trigger. Anybody that's, that's ever shot a 1911 knows it's hard to beat a 1911 trigger. So we're just going to go ahead and put that thing up on a pedestal. And we're not even going to show a 1911 because we all know they're just great. So... Besides the 1911, these are the top seven pistols, in my opinion, that you can buy straight out of the box with the best triggers. Now, I do have a, a Lyman trigger gauge that we can actually test these on and, and see what they are. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from like the lowest priced to the highest priced gun here. Now, I haven't even taken the magazines out of these yet. None of these are loaded, but I should just probably go ahead and take the magazines out of them. And as we go through them, um, I'll show you that they're unloaded prior to actually um, shooting these things. So, uh, let's get on with it. So, from the best of my recollection, the, uh, the lowest priced pistol here is the Canic TP9 SFX. And I gotta be honest with you guys, this has one of the best triggers on the market. I wanna, I wanna show you all this. Look at this reset. That's it. That's it. That's the reset. That, that barely moved. And this trigger, I mean, it's, it's amazing. I don't think it's as light as it feels. It feels like it's way lighter than it is. Uh, let's just go ahead and, and check this one and see what it pulls at. So if we put this up here, try to keep it somewhere towards the center. It actually pulled at three pounds, 10 ounces. I think this, this trigger is actually getting a little lighter. Let's do it one more time. Three pounds, 13 ounces. Uh, I do believe there'll be some on the table that will compete with that. But for the money, uh, the best bang um, straight out of the box, I believe it's gonna be hard to beat the Canic series pistols. Now, a lot of people don't like Canic because they're made in Turkey and they have their opinions about that and I get it. But this isn't what this video is about. This is about triggers and this thing, God, I mean, seriously, just, just look at this. This is your take up right here. It does have a little bit of a take up, but that take up is very smooth. It's not like the Smith & Wesson performance center gun that I have that's just all gritty. This thing is smooth as glass. And once you hit that wall, a little bit more take up. It's not gritty, it just feels some resistance. Oh, that's, that's amazing. And that's why um, I believe this is the best bang for the buck. Now this isn't a pistol review, but it does have an, an optic mount cutout. It does come with Warren uh, fiber optic sights, which are amazing sights. For what you get in this, this right here, um, is one of the best bangs for the bucks that you can actually buy. Now, the next cheaper price pistol, I don't want to say cheaper price. It is cheaper price. I'm not saying any of these pistols are cheap, um, but the lower price pistol is probably going to be your um, CZ P10C. Now, I do have a Theta trigger in this. It, it, all it does is just replace the actual uh, trigger itself. It doesn't replace any of the internal parts or anything. It just makes it a flat face trigger. Um, but let's just go ahead and see the take up. There's your take up. That is it. Hit that wall. Breaks. CZ is known to have some of the best triggers on the market. Let's just go ahead and pull this thing and see what it pulls at. This one wants to roll a little bit because it's flat. Four pounds, three ounces. We'll do that again because it was kind of moving around a little bit. If I can keep it straight. 
four pounds, four ounces, pretty consistent. But I do want to tell you that you get a really solid break right there. This is actually one of the best triggers on the market in my opinion. Now I did have some issues with this one in particular gun whenever I got it. I sent it back to CZ and they fixed it and I've never had another problem with it at all. But let's check out the reset on this. There's your reset. Reset is a little longer than the Canik. Um, the Canik in this pistol is very, very close. For the money, I like the features you get on the Canik better than the CZ. For the ergonomics, uh, CZ all day long. But you can't go wrong with either one of those. And this definitely has one of the best triggers on the market. Now, next along the lines, I believe the PDP is going to be next. The PDP hit the market by storm this year, and uh, everyone loved it. Everyone loves the trigger in the Walther PPQ. Um, I actually think I like the PPQ trigger a little better. I think it's more of the grip than it is the trigger, in my opinion. Um, but this does have a lighter trigger for my testing. So we're going to go with the PDP. All right, let's pull this thing. I'll show you the take up. Quite a bit of take up right there. You hit that wall and then it breaks. Then here's your reset. A little bit longer reset than the Canik again. Um, but this trigger is a phenomenal. There's a reason that Walthers are known to have the best polymer trigger, uh, striker fire trigger on the market. This one is no different. All right, let's pull this thing and see what we got. Three pounds, seven ounces. One more time. Three pounds, two ounces. And that's why they're one of the best triggers on the market because these things are amazing. They just have amazing triggers. This gun has actually never been fired. I've not had a chance to shoot a lot of these on the table. I've not had a chance to shoot yet. Just haven't had the time to go out and review them and stuff like that. Uh, so this will probably even get smoother as time goes by. But if you're looking for an awesome trigger, um, just a great trigger straight out of the box, I'm not sure you can beat a Walther. And a lot of people will tell you the same thing. The new PDP, the ergonomics on it is very, very good. It's got some pretty crazy styling. Like I said, again, this isn't a gun review. This is just a trigger review. But straight out of the box, I mean, three point, what, 3.2 pounds, that's that's light straight out of the box and that is an amazing amazing trigger next up we have the h and k vp9 now i want to say i actually got rid of this gun at one point in time and got the same gun back me and a buddy trade around a lot stuff like that and i wound up getting this gun back and i don't regret it this gun it's not going anywhere now. I do really like HK products. So let's check out this trigger. You have this take up. Take up isn't a ton. Hit that wall, trigger breaks. Reset. Very short, very, very short. The VP9 series of handguns have a much better reset. Of course, it's striker fired, but it has a much better reset than their you know, double action, single action handguns. Of course it should, like I said, it's a striker fire gun, but like the P30, which I love, has a horrible trigger and reset, horrible. But as you can see the reset on this, very good, very, very good. So let's pull this thing, see what we got. Three pounds, 15 ounces. You can see most of these guns are in the four pounds or less range. That's why they made this list. Three pounds, 14 ounces. The Ergos on the VP9 is better than anything on the table. Uh, you can change out the side panels. You can change out the back strap. You can just make this thing really fit your hand. And if you don't like this European uh, mag release right here, which I don't mind, I really don't mind these mag releases. Uh, which one of these magazines? This for the HK right here. Because when you when you empty your last round, you just hit it. I mean, it's it's just quick. You don't really have to re redo your grip or anything like that. What if you train with this? I think these are extremely fast. 
uh, for, for reloads. But if you don't like that, they do make, I think it's called a B version or something like that, that has the button mag release instead of the European style mag release. But again, under four pounds, exactly why it made the list. Next up on the list is the uh, Sig Sawyer 5, uh, or X5, sorry. I started to say 5.7. I got a 5.7 in there. It doesn't have nowhere near as good trigger. The X5 Legion. Now, the Legion series of handguns are like a custom shop um, handgun for SIG, and they do do trigger work on these. They, they do tune these triggers and stuff like that. This gun is right at $1,000, which puts it more than anything we've looked at so far. Um, and it's not really tailored towards EDC, but it is awesome. This grip panel, this tungsten infused grip panel is amazing. And this probably has the smoothest slide of anything on the table that we've looked at so far. But let's check this. So you have, that's your take up. That's nothing. I mean, nothing. You hit that wall, breaks. Reset. Right there. Reset's a little long. I ain't gonna lie. The reset on this gun is a little long, but then you're right there at that wall and it breaks again. But let's see what this thing pulls at. Three pounds, one ounce. Check it one more time. I can't get over how, how smooth the slide is on this. Three pounds, nine ounces. I may have been a little low on that first pull. Let's pull it one more time just to make sure. Try to get in the center a little bit here. Three pounds, 10 ounces. So it's probably around three pounds, um, eight or nine ounces, give or take. But you just, you have to feel this to believe it. Now it comes with a spring in it that is light. Mine did anyway. They say it comes with the higher powered spring, but I had to switch mine out. It comes with different spring uh, recoil springs. I did have to switch mine out to get the stronger spring in it because I don't reload a uh, low powered nine millimeter any, any nine millimeter I reload, um, I just do it at standard uh, pressures because uh, I don't competition shoot anymore. So why would I do that? And it was set up for more like a competition gun. The weight of it really helps reduce that recoil. Uh, I really like this gun. This is one of my favorite handguns I own. I looked for this thing for like four months and finally found one. But there again, awesome, awesome trigger. Now the next gun on the list, is gonna be a little controversial to you guys, but I bought it like this. I bought it out of the box. This is, I bought it at Bass Pro Shop, straight off the shelf. And that is the Zev Custom Sig Sauer uh, P320X Compact. This is another gun that I looked at four months. This may become my new carry gun. It is uh, sporting the TLR7A light. I just need suppressor height sights. I will go with like the X-ray sights. I really like the SIG X-ray sights. I do love uh, fiber optic sights, but I can't co-witness through the optic and such guns as like the X5 and the Canic that when you take off the optic plate, removes your rear sights, they will never get optics put on them because I don't carry or run guns that don't have uh, iron sights. So I'm glad that uh, Zev left the sights on this one, but I do need to have the the rear sight and the front sight replaced with like, like I said, one of the X-ray uh, suppressor height sights. This gun is also very smooth. Um, don't think it is quite as smooth, not quite as smooth as the X5, but very, very close. Trigger on it, just as amazing. Let's take a look at it. Right there's your take up again. Very, very little take up. Hit that wall, trigger breaks. Reset, right there. It's shorter. It is shorter than the X5 and Zev did trigger work on this gun. They also did stipple work on the frame. And I just really, really love this little gun. When you throw this up, the sights are, are just right there. Um, it's, it's awesome. But let's go ahead and pull this and see what weight we get. three pounds, 11 ounces, as well you should for the price of this gun. I think this gun was about $1,200 before taxes. One more time, it rolled up on me. 
three pounds, 11 ounces. That is pretty consistent and it's under four pounds. Uh, this gun is pretty amazing. It fits my hand perfectly and uh, I think it will be an excellent, excellent carry gun. I just need to find a appendix sidecar holster that will accept a TLR-7A. I think tier one concealment has them, but um, this is quickly becoming one of my my favorite guns. I really like it. It's amazing. Sig did a good job. And again, trigger pull under four pounds. All right, last but not least is the CZ Shadow 2. And this is a double action, single action pistol, but you can carry it cocked and locked. I would never carry this gun. Trigger weight, way too low. Um, they'd probably tear you up in court for carrying something with a trigger weight this low. This is probably going to be the best uh, trigger pull on the table. I do have a set of Loke grips and a Loke um, uh, mag release button on this. Makes this gun even better. Uh, has a swelled uh, palm swell, or has a palm swell made into the grips, and it just makes the gun that much better uh, when gripping it, in my opinion. If you have a little bit larger hands, the CZ comes with a flat grip. Uh, it just didn't fit my hands as well. This palm swell grip, amazing. Now, in double action mode, the trigger is not gonna be great. In single action mode, this trigger is stupid. So we're not gonna check double action mode because you can carry it cocked and locked just like a 1911. So that's what we're gonna be testing day in. This is gonna be light. Let me, let me go ahead and show you what it is though. Let me do this first like everything else. There's your take up. It does have a little bit of a take up, but this is the smoothest trigger by far of any gun on the table. Take up, breaks. Your reset, right there. Very, very short. All right, let's get into this. Two pounds, eight ounces. Locked. One more time. Two pounds, nine ounces. That is also pretty consistent. That one and the Zev are probably the most two consistent ones on the table. Um, but this is by far the best trigger in single action. Uh, of course, it is a single action trigger. You know, we put it in single action. It's a double action, single action, but when it's in single action, it is obviously going to be the best trigger on the table because single action triggers are just crazy light. That's why 1911 triggers are so good. Plus the way they, the trigger runs through the channel, if you know how the 1911 trigger works, uh, it makes sure it pulls straight back. There's no hinge and that just enhances it as well. But that Sport Tactical and the Parrot in the CZ that's made on kind of like the frame of the, the Shadow 2, I don't know what that pulled at, but it was stupid how light that trigger was in the gun store the other day. Now the Tactical Sport is $2,000. The Parrot is $3,000. I'll never own a Parrot, I wouldn't think. That's a lot of money to spend on a handgun. I just don't think I'll ever bring myself to spend $3,000 on a handgun. But the Tactical Sport, this gun out the door was something like $1,500, I think it was. So another $500, uh, another another one of these, and I can have, you know, a tactical sport with the most awesome trigger I've ever pulled in my life. But if you're looking for handguns with the best triggers straight out of the box that you don't have to work on or anything like that, I've got guns I put triggers in. I have a Smith & Wesson M&P that I put an Apex in that pulls it like one and a half pounds. So I'm talking about straight out of the box. Every one of these were purchased at a store, no trigger work done except for this CZ. And the only thing that was done was like I said, the trigger shoe was replaced. It didn't affect the trigger pull at all. It might've affected the take up a little bit, but the trigger pull has always been the same as far as poundage. Uh, you can't go wrong with any of these. My advice is go to the gun store, hold each one of these, See which one you like the best and whichever one fits your hand the best, whichever one is more pointable for you. Um, that's the one I would probably go with because all these guns are great. I've never had a single problem with any one of them except the P10C. And after I sent it back and CZ replaced the sear and a couple other things in it, um, it's been 100% reliable ever since then. 
you have any questions about anything you've seen in this video, uh, leave it in the comment section below. I'll do my best to uh, reply to those comments and answer any questions you have to the best of my ability. I appreciate y'all watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.